In today's video, we are going to take a close look at this guy. This is the Ophia P2 Tri Screen Triple Monitor Setup that I was unboxing a few weeks ago. Finally, I have had a few weeks time to use this guy and see what I like about it, what I don't really like about it, and make some conclusions of whether it's worth to get it. I'm W2Best, I make in-depth gear reviews and tutorials, and if you like this video after watching it, I would be super happy if you wanted to put a like on the video, and maybe also subscribe to this channel. That gives me a lot of motivation to bring out new content moving forward now during winter and spring. If you want to communicate with me, you can do so either here in the comment section below, or on Instagram, where I'm also at W2Best. If you want to buy the Ophia tri-screen, there will be a link in the description below to where you can find it. Here is the main product, the Ophia Tri-Screen. And as you can see here, it's a very glossy screen, and the screen is also on the outside when it's folded together like this. To bring out the two monitors, you take in one side, and you then fold it out like this, and then you fold out the second screen like this. You then have the two monitors ready to provide you with a triple screen setup. Each monitor comes with the following configuration of ports. One USB-A port, one full-size HDMI port, which I find to be a really good thing. And then two USB-C ports. And we will look closer at how to use the USB-C ports as good as possible a bit later. Together with the main product in the box, you get a startup guide, a soft cloth carrying case that has no extra pouches for the cables, just one big compartment, one short USB-C to USB-C cable, one long USB-C to USB-C cable, two short HDMI cables, and two USB-A to USB-C cables. Mounting the Ophia tri-screen is a pretty straightforward process both if you have it closed and if you have it open like this. You take the unit out and fold out the two screens. You put the screens and the holder behind the laptop screen. You then pull on each side of this holder and wrap it around the screen, just like that. I found this process to be very simple to complete on my 14-inch laptop, but a bit less simple to complete on a 15-inch laptop, because you have to grab and pull quite a lot longer on the bigger screen sizes. So I think a 17-inch laptop would actually be a bit uncomfortable to get this thing onto. In this case, I'm using a 14-inch laptop with two USB-C ports with monitor out. I would say this is the preferred way to use the tri-screen from Ophia. You just take the two provided USB-C cables and plug the short one into the screen that is on the same side as the ports here. And then the long one goes into the other screen. That is the whole setup process and we now have a triple monitor setup where we can take this window and just move it around to the three different windows that we have available here. And uh, then I could use the keyboard and mouse with all the screens as a normal double screen or triple screen setup. So we can just do this, we put explorer there, we put uh, my notes here and we have the channel page there. This goes really well together with a wireless mouse, like here, my MX Master 2S. This way that you're looking at it now is actually the way I've been using it the most at home as a sort of uh, home office setup, where I would normally in my office work with three screens, but now during the pandemic times, I have to work from home sometimes, and three screens like this is really, really good for my workflow. One thing that wasn't really stated anywhere is that if you plug USB-C power into the second USB-C port of the monitor here, so now I plug in my USB-C power cable there, and then it will actually power the laptop through the monitor and the USB-C cable that goes to the laptop. 
So this is an amazing feature that means you never have to run out of battery even if you only have two USB-C ports. I think this is kind of an overlooked feature because this means you could use for example this Lenovo Yoga Slim 7. You cannot use the M1 MacBook Air and Pro because they only support one external monitor. But all the Intel models will work, even the ones with two Thunderbolts and then you just charge through like this. Ophia also specify a few other modes that you can use the screens in. One of them is to fold the screens back and kind of show them to like different parts of a table. So let's try this solution out and see how we work. So that actually worked kind of well. Now we have one screen facing in each direction around this table. So if I were to present something here, uh, people would be seeing if I duplicate the screens and uh, they would be seeing the same thing on the screens facing the two different ways. Another way you could run that is to remove one of the screens, fold it in, and then just fold the other screen on top like that. And then you have one screen facing one way and one screen facing the other way. As you can see here when I'm moving the hinge back and forth a bit, this adds quite a lot of weight to the hinge. And in this case, we have a 14 inch laptop that is very well supported by the base of the Ophia tri-screen down here. If I switch that out for a 15 inch monitor, as you can see here, you don't get that base support. So the hinge have to really hold up all the weight of these screens. And this is about 1.3 kilograms. So there is actually a bit of weight in it. So you can see here, if I'm folding the screen down, that after some time it will start collapsing and just moving down. Uh, so this is something you would keep in mind if you want to use it with a larger screen than a 13 or a 14 inch. The second main use case I've had for this laptop setup is with one monitor out on the side. And in this case it is mainly to keep as much of my table free as possible. This makes me able to kind of have some space to eat food at the same time as I have my editing setup rigged, where I can have DaVinci Resolve on one monitor and then a preview window on the other monitor to look at clips. And of course you can put it up like this just using the built-in hinges here. With the monitor in the right position I will apply these changes and as you can see here I can then drag my browser window over there. And for example, if you work with like long documents, this could be a pretty solid way to see as much as possible of your document on your second screen. The actual screens are 11 inches glossy full HD screens with a brightness of 220 nits. They do get bright enough for indoor use. The color reproduction is a little bit weirdly stated at just 75%, but I would say that it is roughly 75% Adobe RGB, which is equivalent to approximately 45% NTSC. It's not a color reproduction that you would use for advanced photo or video editing, but it is good enough as that extra screen that it's supposed to work as. The weight of the Ophia is stated at 1.3 kilograms and on my kitchen scale it weighs in at 1245 grams. Together with the two USB-C cables that I use to power the setup, this weighs in at 1299 grams. So one gram short of the 1.3 kilo stated weight. However, the most interesting here, I think, is to see the whole package weight. So adding on my 14 inch laptop, this now weighs in at 2,574 grams. Adding on the laptop power adapter, we reach 2,900 grams. I was a bit curious about how I would come to use the Ophia and where I would actually find the use cases where it would fit in. I thought about some other theoretical use cases where the main two ones are working when you travel. If I had a bit of a bigger backpack, I would be keen to bring this guy when I'm working abroad. It's just that I'm not really working abroad currently because of the situation in the world. 
So I haven't had any time to try this out, even though I used Ophia for almost a month now. The other use case that I figured was working from a cafe. This kind of turned out to not really be a thing for me. The Ophia triple monitor setup becomes a bit too big for me to be comfortable to bring it up on a cafe table. However, if I was paying for a membership at a co-working space, I would definitely have the Ophia as my main gear to bring to the co-working space to be able to work as efficiently as possible. Now I have my regular office space where I have one 25 inch monitor and one 24 inch monitor. So I don't really need to bring the Ophia out of my home. I keep it as my work from home setup and then I have my office setup in the office. The biggest plus of the Ophia, I would say, is the port setup. I haven't seen any kind of port setup like this on any mobile monitor, where you have a full-size HDMI on both of the monitors. Even my bigger 15.6 inch mobile monitor only comes with a mini HDMI port, which needs a special cable which is not at all as common as the normal HDMI to HDMI cable. However, I would only use the HDMI cable if I wanted to connect something that doesn't have a USB-C port with monitor out. My laptop with two USB-C ports with monitor out works perfectly together with the Ophia. And when I realized the fact that you can just plug in your charger to the other USB-C port on one of the Ophia monitors, this makes it an even better setup. And it even adds the possibility to charge your laptop from two different sides which I can't do normally because both of my USB-C ports are on the left hand side of the laptop. I also really appreciate the fact that these monitors clamp on to the screen, which makes it very easy to move it from one screen to another one and to use it with different sizes. The other mobile monitors that are similar that I have seen requires you to put some attachment plates onto the back of the laptop. Not only does this make it harder to use it with multiple laptops, but you'd also not be able to keep your laptop as clean as this guy is because you would have these attachment plates here and they would stick there even if you remove the monitor. I find the monitor quality to be pretty good. It could have been a little bit brighter than 220 nits, but the full HD resolution works really well if you turn window scaling up to 150% and then keep it on 100% on your main 14 or 15 inch monitor. The size is also perfect for a 14 inch laptop triple screen setup. The main cons I have found of the Ophia triple monitor setup is the fact that the screen is outside when you fold it together, which means that it's more prone to scratches and fingerprints when you're carrying it around or putting it into that attached case that it comes with. It is also a relatively bulky setup when you put this together with your laptop. As you could see in my little weight test there, it is almost three kilos if you want the whole setup together with the laptop's power adapter. That's quite a lot to bring with you if you're used to having just a 1.3 kilogram laptop. If you don't have two USB-C ports with monitor out, I find that the cable mess that it creates to have the HDMI cable and then an extra cable for power to be able to drive that monitor, I would actually not use two monitors at the same time if I didn't have those two USB-C ports with DisplayPort out. It really adds a lot of complexity and bulk to the setup and it just makes it not as nice as when you have that simple two cable setup. The speakers are really mediocre. I don't really know why they would even put speakers in this kind of monitors. I would rather have them get as small and lightweight as possible and remove some mediocre speakers that also you can only run one side at the time. So you really have no reason to use these speakers. You're much better off using the speakers you have in your laptop. And therefore I haven't even demoed them here in the review. The last con I have found here is that the 15 inch setup that I have been using, it is not really that stable when it comes to that hinge. 
So because there is no stability from the base of the Ophia tri-screen, as it is when you're using it with a 14 inch, then the hinge can kind of collapse on you. So you gotta watch what angle you are putting the screen on so that it doesn't collapse and just fall back and maybe snap off and fall down to the ground if you're at a small table. Make sure to look out for that if you wanna use it with a larger screen than a 14 inch. Right now, the Ophia tri-screen is $299 on the Indiegogo campaign. Do I think it's worth to pay $299 for this kind of monitor setup? Before I used the Ophia, I was using this guy, which is one external 15.6 inch monitor that is also full HD resolution. The fact that the Ophia attaches to the laptop and runs two monitors and is able to charge through one of the monitors, I think make it a really valid product for my kind of use case. And I would probably go for it at that price level of $299. Maybe not when I have this guy that I already owned, but if this was my first purchase of a dual or triple screen setup for mobile or home use when there's no space for a full on monitor, I think this would be a good purchase and I would be able to spend that money on such a product for this kind of setup. Do you have any other questions about the Ophia triple screen setup? You can ask them in the comments below. I am W2Best and I make in-depth gear reviews and tutorials and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.